Hello, my great and wonderful people. How on a day today? I hope all of you are day well. Today, we get a lot of messages and videos for our team. We want to be saying one quickly the review to you concerning the things we want to be saying if happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. And before we go on, one quickly, first of all, appreciate our community for una love when it be say una show towards us all this way and the way when it be say una they ask after us when it be say una never see us since honestly we know say we disappoint you in one way or the other for the way when it be say we never they keep to updates the way when it be say we promise each and every one of you but still on still we still have a lot of other things to meet up with i believe so una enjoy the company of our beloved sister when he be say he keep on a busy for a short while now. I beg bear with us. We will meet up with everything when he be say yes, we don't leave behind. And now today we get this quick update for our table. How he be say the destinable administration take come aside to announce to Nigerians and also the entire world how he be say they approve 134 billion naira as allowances. For retired military personnel you know honestly ever since we not really get time to talk about many things when basically it you know they happen of recent but this very one will not be keep silent it really draw our attention listen to us this very update when we want bring to you now not be the present military personnel no this one not the retired ones which is the people when we say don't work under the administration of Azim Buhari, make una get and clear, which is I'm a bullet in able to tell these people thank you for the eight years when they say they waste the lives and properties of Nigerians under this APC, where it be say Azim Buhari waste everything wasteable for inside this nation. I'm a bullet in able to use 134 billion naira to say thank you to the soldiers. When he be said enough he secured the lives and properties of Nigerians from the hand of Boko Haram and also bandits. He can't say thank you to them with this morning. Now, the present military personnel, when he be said that they on board, when he be said there's even still the bush right now, nothing when he be said the reason about them. Abi? <laughs> and remember, equally say, this one has seized the same military personnel when he be said, the time when this uh, Tinibu take come on board, he give them a lot of bulletproof cars and also monetary award to say thank you. Now he don't reaward this money to them again. They tell us say Nigeria they poor. Abi, they tell us say maybe they manage. They tell us say I think now Tinibu wife come outside to tell each and every one of us say he husband not be magician, so maybe we not expect any magic from him. So each and every one of us Nigerians, we need to be patient. The one may we be patient for the face of this intensive hardship from where hike even to the extent of the, the hunger when it be say it day for grand. They say we be patient and that they award money for their sales in one way or the other. That they borrow money, they sponsor their sales. They give their self allowances. They fly their sets out of Nigeria in and out to make their sets and their children comfortable. They tell Nigerians to be patient. Abi, no problem. We day here. And we want you this medium to appreciate the followers of Amebola Tenebun and also the fans of APC. Una do well. Una say me guna, me we not they complain again. We not they complain. We just they come the table before you. The things when it be say una people they do your uncles and your aunties they do for this country. I believe so una they enjoy and now, right? Yesterday we received a very troublesome video concerning the palliatives when it be say they borrow billions upon billions of dollars concerning the, this uh, first subsidy remover. They tell us say they equally allocate portions of these billions to each state to help their citizens. Right? I want first of all leave when I make una watch uh, the shocking video when it be say one of the leader of one group come outside with truck of rice when it be say yes they allocate to Ram and your own people. 
at least we still get something to praise Amebola Tinibu and Ioka Bas for. For now, I will leave you to watch this very truck of rice when it be said the sheep go this community. When it make the leader of this community come outside with tears of joy to tell the whole world the goodness of Amebola Tinibu and the OAPC administration. Watch, we'll come back for more. Oh, okay, yeah. For now, I am the chairman, Shokaye yeah, CDA. And I was just at home now, and uh, they brought this for me as palliative for the whole of Shokaye yeah, estate. In this estate, we have 147 houses with families and tenants living there. I'm confused now. I don't know how to share this. For 147 households in Shokaya Estate. If you guys, the government, I'm talking to Dako Abiodun now. If you people know you cannot do something, don't do it. We are not hungry, we are not beggars. So we don't need your rights as palliative. This is not even one bag. This is not up to an eighth of a bag of rice. So that is it. We don't need this rice. If you want to give us palliative, don't insult us. This is an insult. Shokaya Estate refused to be insulted. God bless you. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe so when I see the truck of rice, when it be say, these people, they give community. <laughs> we come praise you now, APC, and the uncles and aunties of Amebola Tenebon and all APC Kabas. We come tell you thank you for the mockery when it be say, when they mock Nigerians. For the shame and reproaches when Ibisi Una they reproach us. We say thank you. You know, honestly, the reason why Ibisi would they bring all these things they cannot pass be say. Until all of us start to talk the truth, no matter who they involve, whether na your papa or, or your mama, you know, say if they do something when Ibisi, you know they right. And by our collective efforts, we stand to resist them and stand by the truth. We know they go anywhere. Remember, for this bag of rice, when we say this man they also or they hold for hand, now if they tell us say they allocate five billion naira, I be if I don't make mistake, to each state. The time when they say they go borrow that money for World Bank, I don't remember how many billions of dollars when they say they borrow that. I don't know if you remember now, but I could remember say they told say they allocate five five billion naira to each state. Now waiting this community get for out of five billion naira, now it be that very one. Not before only even that man alone no, for the whole estate. I believe say that bag now, uh, the seed of rice on the day inside will feel rich about 47 pieces. Yes, which is to say each house fit take one piece of rice. Abi, you good. I believe if you see this one, you say maybe this one just come outside with propaganda. The thoughts say from the mouth of two or three witnesses is established, right? Now I will leave you to still see another man when he also cry out the same cry for this very palliative. And he speak Yoruba, listening to him. This will not be the same man. Watch, I'll come back. The video. Moki Ijoba Ogun State. Mo de ki governor wa ta won alaba sise pe ba kan na ni mo ki eh awon house of assembly awon local government chairman and others eh emi je kan ninu awon chairman cda ni adugo mi ni mo we nbi oru community mo ti agbola so igba ti won ma gbe palliative ton ni governor ni kan fun cda mi only late, but boy, for jury. Timo Basso, to my show, Jimmy. He said, We must have a man. All right, all. To the Mufaki Bubuama, Nigeria, or the Park Pound, or to Jesse D. Membami. 
ko ma da bi wi pe se ma run ti gba palletifu apo rice 20 abi 10 abi 5 o wa nfi si bi pe fun won because ni under means i want to ile to wa under means more than 200 ki ma ti soro awon eyan to ngbe ninu e emi o mo be mi se fe pin eleyi fun gbogbo awon ti o wa ni under cd emi so tori to ba ya nsin wa ni won pin palletif emi o ri palletif kokan mi o mo ta fe fi eleyi se ni o de mo mu se fe present eloju awon cd members ni awon to wa lo under cd mi so lo je kin se eleyi ki gbogbo aye le ri pe ogun state n se bebe o won de toju awon eyan gan e ri e rest an gbe fun wa mm so mo fe ki gbogbo mo nigeria ri to ba ya nsin wa ni billions of naira I want to say, Kini, Bobby, and you tell me while any we pay or look at Lunicoma Balawan, I want Kini Coma Balon, I let you. So, Tosha for Alileo, Obey, and Lady Jimmy, you shall need to sap a man at all. You know, Santo Sapama, or Jimmy Lele. So, me, my boss, and a cock went pilot if you lay you, you will go on CD, or the late Mobedani. But yeah, I go no sorrow, and you can't fit me. But yeah, can I want to give you me or Melet Mufafi Pembe? So only lay go, I say. Along any fair, you bash any fowl, I'm all good state. The Anja won't be by Cosona Cosinka, and I like before I allow up a day for you. I say. All right, my great and wonderful people, I believe say you don't see him. The reason why I say we leave this video, make it play rich to this extent, so that you will see the person when they say it they talk for the end of this video make you not think say now the same person or maybe not the same first video now in you they watch i believe say you don't see him you see and upon all these ones that they are worth billions upon billions from the house of senate to the local government chairman even to the extent of the retired personnel to compensate them when they say they take care nigerians 134 billion naira as allowances to this retired military personnel when nigerians they die of hunger they tell us they may with their patient this woman i'm a bolatinibu wife remitinibu come outside publicly open her mouth tell nigerians say he old husband not be magician and this one that they say i'm a bolatinibu want to be say during your campaign tell nigerians say if he take over power say he will hit the ground running Abi, it don't hit the ground running. We know how many billions of dollars when they say this man don't borrow so far. What did they use and they do? That they share among themselves. They the same prayer into their own email boss. <laughs> that they renew bulletproof cars up or down. That they tell Nigerians say me they day patient and say he owe husband, not be magician. Abi, all right. Now, so we're talking concerning this matter. We're not come here to judge you now or to probe you now. We come here, they review, wait till they know one, make you see. I believe at the end of it all, you when to be anti and uncool of APC. You not get defense mechanism. You not swear to an oath to defend evil, even with your own, own last blood. No problem. For the first say it did good for Una now, not me say it will continue to do good for Una forever. We did here. For the first thing that Nigerians they cry now, you know me saying that Nigerians will continue to cry forever. When I owe time to cry, it will definitely come. All right, share your own opinion with us in the comment section, even as we take you down to this other video. And this other video, the video when be say it concerned this war when it be say it they go on between the Israel and Palestine. Ever since a lot of people they come and say they throw their mouth for something when it be say yes, they know too well. Waiting be the truth concerning this matter, just like the previous video when we say we showcase to Una. When we will know the truth of the matter finish, because of say na our own side, we know if we come as I boldly to talk the truth. This video when we say one quickly leave me to watch. Now video when we say with the receive from a very true son, not be say na maybe adopted son, a biological son of one of the leader. Of Hamas. I believe so Una know who be Hamas, which is the soldiers of these Palestinians when it be say that they destroy things they go for Israel. When it make Israel, they retaliate. One of their sons, when it be say he run away 
when he can't understand the light and the truth of the fight, when he say he own people, they fight against Israel, he run away years ago. And now, now if they come outside, they reveal deep revelation concerning the truth matter. When he be say yes, it involve these two nations. I beg the reason why he be say. I quickly introduce this person to you so that you feel pay attention to this person. Make you not think, say, na ordinary passerby people. When they say they not get clear, concrete understanding of what really they go on. Listen to Ram first. I'll come back for more. The truth is that we are afraid. And we are trying not to provoke them more. We are trying not to create a religious war. But there has been a religious war whether you like it or not. The better way is to face it, to grow up, and face it with courage. This is what I say. The problem, the problem is not in the individual. We are not against the Muslim people. I, am not, I cannot be against my mother and my father and my people. They're just people. And there are idiots everywhere in every nation. But I'm talking about the collective consciousness of nations, of regions, and the cosmic consciousness of all humanity. The Muslim people have a problem, and their problem is in their belief system. They have to face it, and we need to encourage them to fight the good fight, as I did. If I was able, you know, I had privileges as the son of a top Hamas leader. I had something to lose. But the average Muslim person don't have lots of things to lose. They're already living in darkness and misery. If they leave it, it's better for them. When I left, I did not leave misery. I left the privilege. I left position, I was paid, I was protected. Everybody wanted me to stay wearing the mask. I am a living example and a challenge and I will continue to be to every individual who live in the Muslim world that this is the time to grow up, to destroy the walls and to transcend the conditioning of the society. This is the only way. But to tell them no, Islam is a religion of peace we just create the perfect climate for terrorists to keep on growing. I say otherwise. Our problem is not with the individual. Our problem is with the belief system that humanity and the free world need to unify as eventually, even though it was too late, the world unified against Nazism. Today, free people need to unify against Islam, not against the Muslim people against Islam itself as a belief system. When the president of the free world stands and say, when the president of the free world stands and say that Islam is a religion of peace, he creates the climate, he provides the climate, the perfect climate to create more terrorism. I hope I hope that my message does not come across. I don't want to create more chaos, but there is no other way. You know, I, sh I wish I could be more gentle to represent this issue. But I've seen death, and I came from hell, and it's very dark. What is the alternative for Israel and for democracy? or for the American Constitution. It's the darkness of the sixth century. This is what's the alternative. You know, I don't believe that there is any system, including the American Constitution, that can solve the human condition or help the individual to integrate to a higher state. I believe this is up to the individual. But the difference between the seventh century environment and democracy that the individual has more room and more peace or peaceful environment to grow.
I experienced it myself. When I was in Ramallah, I was only able to practice Islam. I only knew the mosque. But in Tel Aviv, I practiced Christianity. When I was a Muslim also, I practiced Islam in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, where the Jewish people are not allowed to worship at their temple mount. <laughs> then, then a bunch of hypocrites called BDS come and compare Israel to the racist regime of South Afri Africa. How can you compare? If it's the capital of the Jewish people and the Israeli government are not allowing the Jewish people to worship freely in their capital, on their hol holiest site, for political correctness, not to offend the Muslims and give them that kind of freedom. How can we compare this to that? In Tel Aviv, I was able to practice yoga. I was able to practice Christianity. They're Muslims, they're Druze, they're all type of people, all type of religions protected under the Israeli umbrella and the Israeli law. This is not available in the other countries surrounding. If Israel is destroyed or if Israel is isolated, what is the alternative? What those people are doing, I really don't understand. I know that I came across pro-Israeli this afternoon, but it has been a privilege. Why not? I love Israel. I love what Israel stands for. Its ethics, its values, its democracy, its love. A nation that was able to overcome the Holocaust and instead of playing the victim mentality and blame everyone for their suffering, they were able to build a state, a democratic state, make it from a newborn state to an advanced and completely developed state in less than 25 years. This is a great example. It has been a pleasure. I appreciate the love of the Jewish nation everywhere in the world. I don't care what they label me. Again, I speak with the authority of experience. If they have anything to say, they can say it right to my face. If they have the courage. But I doubt. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe you are not listening to this very man. Now, the true son of one of the Hamas leader, when he said they brought up in the ways of Islam, with the doctrine of the Islam, he come aside by divine intervention to see the lights and know what be the error, the true error of his own people. Today, now he stand out to the talk like this. You know, the reason why basically we bring this video not pass, basically, until all of us stand for the truth. Regardless who it go affect, whether now our father so or our mother so, we know they go anywhere. The reason why they say Muslim they support their people, which is this Hamas today, not because they don't know the truth, too, not because say, they be their own brothers. A lot of them know the truth, and fear not will allow them to come for where their brethren stay. But when they go to the back, then they pass through the pain. Why you not just come outside to talk the truth and stand by the truth and die by the truth? You see the wahala. Now still the problem when they say all of us they face for inside this country today, Nigeria. Until all of us come outside to face the truth hell long. No matter how severe it might look like, we not they go anywhere. If we begin to fight for our own stomach, saying I'm my own be this one, even though say they do evil, you not know, consign me, I'm on support them. We know they go anywhere. Now, so talking concerning this matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us in the comment section. We'll draw the line here. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.